Okay, let's go back into the editor, find view, and then click on world properties. Remember we are in the menu level, so we can fiddle with some of these a little bit. Find the world info tab, go to a no default inventory for player. In other words, we're not going to let the player have any kind of gun. Close this and go back into Kismet. Okay, once in Kismet, we're essentially going to create a new sequence. We're going to go to New Event, Player, Player Spawn. So this is going to get triggered as soon as the player is spawned into our menu world. What we want to do when the player is spawned is we want a new action, specifically mis not miscellaneous um, toggle. We're going to toggle cinematic mode. So we're going to basically not let the player have control over anything except the menu. So as soon as the player is spawned, take that output, connect it to enable toggle cinematic mode. Click on toggle cinematic mode really quickly. Uh, we do want to disable, we do not want to disable input because we want the player to be able to click on that button and we want them to be able to move around the mouse. So uncheck disable input and disable movement. Now we also need a target, so once again click in the gray space, go to new variable, click on player, player, we don't necessarily want all players, so uncheck all players, and this will change to player zero. Connect target to player zero, and we'll be fine. Okay, once we've saved and built this m tutorial menu, we're going to test it out. Remember, we are trying to jump from one level to another, so you cannot play this level in an editor window. You have to click this icon, which says start this level on PC. This drops us into the world where, notice, we can no longer move around, we no longer have a weapon, but we can scroll over that play button, it pops out. Right now it uh, pops out a little bit too far, but you can fix that in Flash later. When we click on it, it sends us to our tutorial level, so we have successfully created a menu which starts up this level. That uh, was a little bit involved, but it was fun, and uh, once you've done once, it actually gets much easier as you go along. We're going to end this now, and uh, I will see you for the next tutorial, which involves making a HUD. 